my name is Margaret Truler, and I have a farm in Hartford, Maine, and I live in Newcastle, Maine. Um, I wanted to direct this to Chairman Parker and Commissioner Mercer and the members of the Board of Environmental Protection. Um, hopefully not the Board of Environmental Destruction. Um, I'm in testifying today in opposition to the new rules, Chapter 200 rules, um, that are built on the rules that you had before. Um, please reject the proposed new rules and um, because I feel they are not strict enough and don't protect the people and the environment of Maine. In recent history, from 2011 to 2015, the many proposed extremely weak mining rules were rejected by the legislature. They were rejected because the laws failed to protect the people of Maine and to protect the land, water, and air of the state of Maine. The people of Maine do not want their land, water, and air to be destroyed and polluted as that only a, so that only a few corporations can profit for our loss. I'm very concerned that new laws governing metal mining will not be strict enough to prevent the well-known problems of metal mining in Maine and throughout the world. I wish to represent my family, children, and grandchildren who are unable to be present because of school and work. We all want to protect the heritage of Maine and its great natural environment. The overwhelming majority of Maine citizens have spoken out that you must protect Maine's environment. You are the Department of Environmental Protection. We need new comprehensive current medically based and science based metal mining laws and you need to get advice from all those that have studied these problems for years and a lot of time needs to be had in order to get the proper um, um, educational advice. The state of Maine has vast interconnected underground aquifers and vast surface water as well. As many people have said, many streams and rivers and lakes and watersheds make up the topography of Maine. We cannot allow our water and air and land to be permanently destroyed by metallic mining. Maine's clean air and water and more, are more valuable than a mine and are protected by many laws, including Clean Water Act, Clean Air Act, and other laws. Maine's clean water resources and environment are essential to many valuable and sustainable businesses that already exist, such as farming, tourism, recreation, fishing, hunting, boating, hiking, sporting camps, um, the new local restaurant trade, um, and also our heritage that people have spoke about, our Native American Indian heritage, that needs to be protected as well. The jobs created by these activities far exceed jobs created by mining. Mining jobs have not been found to be sustainable and are dangerous to human health, as a doctor has already told you. Um, my grandfather, for example, was a coal miner in Kentucky and Indiana, and his life was one of depression and early death. Many of his coal miners faced poverty and sickness from the toxic air and polluted water that they breathed and lived in. And the communities near those mines. Mining creates a poor quality of life for the workers. Only developers and corporate bosses, I believe, reap the benefits. It is well documented how the mining industry has created pollution in Maine, the United States, and throughout the world. Mining companies often go bankrupt, leaving the taxpayers to pay for decades of remediation and causing the funding of Superfund sites, such as, to name a few, as many have been mentioned here today, Callahan Mine in Brooksville, Beale Mountain Mine in Montana, Summitville Mine in Colorado, the Mount Pauli Mine in British Columbia, and um, it would be a disaster for Maine because, as I stated, we need clean water, air, and land for our businesses. This is why people come to Maine and want to be in Maine. Laws and rules governing heavy metal mining need to protect the people of Maine. 
and mining operations need to be totally insured and bonded for damages. Um, all damages need to be investigated. A complete list of damages that mines have caused need to be investigated. And as many people have said, what about human loss um, as well as environmental loss? Um, damages to the environment often include perpetual care. In other words, often damage is catastrophic and the cleanup could last forever. Metal mining is clearly dangerous and hazardous. Past mining failures in the United States have cost anywhere up from millions of dollars to hundreds of billions of dollars. Will the developers of these mines so proposed be willing to put $100 million, $100 billion into a bank to post bond for hazardous waste cleanup and human loss? Because in your document you state anybody can propose a mine. Um, mining companies are notorious for going bankrupt and who puts the value on those resources? The um, whole groups of people do risk assessment. What is your risk assessment for the damage? As, another, as several people spoke about, Maine is the last stronghold for the iconic, iconic brook trout species, the landlocked salmon and other native species within the Ball Mountain area and throughout um, most of northern Maine still, although we've lost a lot of southern Maine, lies the great fishing areas of the Fish River chain of lakes, the Red River chain of lakes, the Machias River headwaters, Moosehead Lake, it goes on and on. Um, Aroostook County, as well as other parts of Maine, support incredible fisheries and wildlife habitats. Maine is world for that. That is our brand. Nature is our brand. Mining is not our brand. Um, I got this at the place where you get your snacks. Aroostook County. Fishing. It doesn't say mining. Come see the mine. It says fishing. So, I mean, it's a huge industry. Um, Please do not let the heritage be destroyed by mining waste and effluent. Effluent includes lead, zinc, copper, um, arsenic, sulfide deposits, leaching into surrounding lands and causing pollution. Um, and it's very dangerous. From my experience, I can relate that nature heals. We need to protect our environment. My parents spent five years overseas during World War II, and they returned to Maine to find peace and beauty. My dad, a doctor who worked at Togus VA, and many of his colleagues were veterans, and they found peace in the forest and beautiful mountains of Maine with flowing streams full of native wild trout and clean water. Please do not destroy this. These people deserve better than that. Please protect the environment of Maine for our children, our grandchildren, and the future generations. Do we not want to have people desire to live in northern Maine and farm there and, you know, Please save the heritage of Maine and keep the way, Maine, the way life should be. Reject the new effort to push heavy metal mining on Maine people. The Maine people need a lot more time than you are giving them to understand these situations that happen. So please put a moratorium on mining in Maine. Thank you very much. And I do have a copy of a map that I'll be sending along later.